GIF or GIF. However way you say it, animated stickers have become a popular way to embellish photos and videos for social media. Even brands have begun using custom animated GIFs to help boost their social media presence. And that's why in this video, I'll be showing how you can get your own custom GIF stickers to show up in GIF search in Instagram and Facebook stories. I'm so cold. The very first thing you need to know is that both Facebook and Instagram pull their GIFs from a platform called Jiffy. And for your animated GIF or stickers to show up in GIF search, then you will need to have either an artist account or a brand account on Jiffy. The first kind is called the artist channel, which is for artists. Basically, anybody who wants to make their own custom original GIFs and or stickers. And the second kind is called the brand channel, which is for brands and businesses. Be sure to pick up my free PDF guidebook down below so you can have a checklist of everything you need to have to be able to upload your own custom GIF stickers. But we're gonna start with the artist channel first. So start off by signing up for a free account at jiffy.com, upload a custom profile image, type in how you want your name to be displayed, links to your portfolio, and social media accounts. You don't need to have your own custom domain name. You can just put in an Instagram account or the best place on the internet for people to find more of your art and type in a custom username. Now for the username, that's really important because this is how people are going to find all the GIFs and stickers that you've created. So in my case, if you type in at Jacka Martinez on GIF search, it's gonna pull up all the GIFs and stickers that I've created and uploaded to the platform. And lastly, you're going to need at least five GIFs and or stickers that are original, animated, non-commercial, and publicly viewable. I feel like that's where most people trip up when they're trying to sign up for a verified channel is that they only upload one sticker and expect to be verified. So I would actually recommend that you make at least five GIFs and or stickers before you apply for an account on Jiffy. Just a quick side note that I forgot to mention, the reason why I say GIF and or stickers is because on Jiffy, they are two separate categories. So GIFs are moving images that don't have transparency like this, but once you upload something with a transparent background, Jiffy will automatically categorize this as stickers. And these stickers are the ones that show up on GIF search on stories. Not this one, even though these are also called GIFs, but this one with the transparent backgrounds. It's very confusing, I know. I don't know why it's this way either. Signing up for a brand channel is actually pretty similar to signing up for an artist channel, except you're gonna need more professional credentials. So again, go to jiffy.com and sign up for a free account, but this time, you're gonna need to use an email address that has its own custom domain name. For example, hello at yourbusinessname.com. So you can't use a free email account like Gmail or Yahoo. And just like with an artist account, you need to upload your own avatar image, type in your display name, your custom username, links to your social media account that are associated with your business, and the link to your business website, which again, we need to have its own custom domain name. You also need to put in the contact name of a person within your business. And again, you need to upload at least five GIFs and or stickers to your account. But the difference with this is that with an artist channel, your five uploads need to be available publicly, whereas with a brand channel, you actually have the option to upload your GIFs and stickers privately if, for example, you want to launch them at a later date. So as you can probably tell by now, the very first thing you need to have before your account is ready is at least five GIFs and or stickers. Now, I'm going to upload a separate tutorial on how you can design and animate your first sticker pack. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can get notified when that's out. So once you've made your account at jiffy.com, click the upload button and drag and drop your stickers to upload them on your account. And on the next page, you're gonna see this, which the first line is gonna say source link. That part is actually, although it's optional, it's 
pretty important because this is why. So when I check my website analytics, I actually notice that a lot of my traffic comes from Jiffy. So that, that alone is a great way to be found by clients or potential clients and potential customers. And below that, you're gonna see a tag section. This is actually how people are gonna find your stickers on stories. When you go to Jiff search and type in the word happy, all the stickers that show up there actually have the word happy tagged on them. And that's how these stickers are found on the platform. So you're gonna wanna think about what are people gonna type in GIF search in order to find your sticker. So I have a list, let me check. You can think of the subject or actions that are featured in your sticker. You can also think of any catchphrases or slang words that are associated with your sticker like for example with kylie jenner rise and shine that was so bad but you can like use that as a tag because people are probably looking that up or you can also consider moods emotions themes or if you're uploading a holiday sticker tag it with the various versions of the holiday you can type in merry christmas christmas Happy Holidays, Holidays. So that's already four tags right away. You can also come up with a specific tag to be able to group your stickers into collections. Like for example, with this Beachin sticker pack, all of these stickers have the word Beachin tagged to it. So that way your followers don't need to look through all the stickers that you created just to find this one specific collection. You can also add in a tag version of your username. Like for example, my username is at Jaga Martinez, but I can also tag my stickers with hashtag Jaga Martinez. And that way people can use either of those to be able to find my work. So the maximum amount of tags that you can put is 20 tags per sticker. But ideally, try to come up with the best 10 tags for each of your stickers that are associated with what your sticker is. But do not abuse the tag feature on Jiffy and don't just put in random words that aren't even related to your sticker. That's called spam. And also, this is a surefire way for your stickers to not be approved on Jiffy. So once you set up your Jiffy account, met all of these requirements which I've been talking about in this entire video, and uploaded your 5 GIFs and or stickers, then you can submit your channel at this link which I will also link down below. And then all you need to do is wait to be approved. Now it can take up to 2 weeks for brand and channel applications to be reviewed and approved, so I would highly recommend that you apply as early as possible, especially if you're trying to target a specific launch date or you need your stickers to be available in time for a certain event. I have had two clients where their channels were approved almost instantly just because they followed all of these requirements down to the T. So again, if you want to have your channel approved as soon as possible, then be sure to check off all of these things on your checklist which you can download for free in the link down below. Also, all GIFs and stickers that are uploaded to a verified account undergo their own approval process. Anytime you upload a new GIF or sticker to your account, they don't show up right away on GIF search. And in my experience, it can actually take me up to 24 hours before I see them show up on GIF search. And this is just something that you need to keep in mind if ever you're creating stickers for an event or for a holiday, upload them to your account as early as possible. And then once your channel has been upgraded to a brand or artist channel, then you can apply for a verification at this page which will give you that nice blue badge and will allow your followers to search you up by your username. But whether or not you're verified, as long as you have an upgraded artist or brand channel, your stickers will still appear on GIF search. And one last thing, this is extremely important, so listen up. Let's say you already have a verified artist channel and you have a client that comes in and wants to commission you to create a set of custom GIF stickers for them or for their business or for their event. Be sure to inform your client that they will need to upload those custom commissioned stickers to their own brand channel and not to your own artist channel. It actually goes against Jeffy's terms of service 
to upload GIF stickers into an artist channel in behalf of another person or another entity. And I mean, it's free to sign up for a branded channel. So you might as well encourage your client to sign up for their own brand channel or you can help them out because now you know through this video how to set up a verified brand or artist channel on Jiffy. Now I know this video is like a whole lot of information all at once. So grab my free PDF guidebook down below so you can have this really handy dandy guide slash checklist of all the things you need to have before submitting your channel for approval and verification. I also left all the links to my sources down below which all came from the Jiffy Support website if you want to read up more on this. And be sure to watch out for my tutorial which is gonna come out soon on how you can design and animate your first sticker pack really easily. Also, I want to make more content all about GIFs and stickers. Let me know if you want to see tutorials on specific styles or if you have a specific question on how to do GIF sticker things. I don't know. Let me know by leaving them in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you want to see a behind the scenes process video of how I make my GIF stickers, so you can check out these two videos right here. As always, thank you so much for watching, create your own adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.